My name is Melissa Pereira. I use she, her pronouns, and I am directing Maricela Trevino Horta's Wolf at the Door. What drew me to direct this play is the playwright. <laughs> um, I think working on The River Bride completely changed the way that I interact with language. It meant so much to me to be able to be held by a playwright's words and also to know that this playwright lives as a Latina in this world. And I felt a different sense of belonging in that process that I just couldn't wait to get back to. Brianna Reza and Miranda Pepin are enjoying their first years at APT, I hope. Um, and it is such a gift. It's a gift to introduce new Latin A artists to American Players Theater through the lens of a uh, Latina playwright uh, being directed by me into this world. It is a way that it, f that it feels important to, to me, and I hope it feels important to them. And then to be able to work with Ron and Nancy, Ron, who I've worked with extensively, and Nancy's work, who is, has been a legacy to, uh, to the industry, but in particular to other Latinas in the industry, and to be able to work with her and um, have her be a part of this legacy was really important and really special. And um, to have those four people come together to tell this story of transformation while they transform themselves in both in their art form and in their personal lives uh, was a beautiful gift and uh, one that I, I will never forget. Their, uh, their vision and their dedication and anybody who comes to see the show will see uh, the kind of precision that it requires to complete this this world that we built and they have been tirelessly working to make it all make sense because without them without their hearts without their sin sus uh, sin su espíritu sin sus almas verdaderamente uh, no teníamos nada we wouldn't have anything so we need um we need them and they're the only people who could have built um this world with me i 1,000% believe that. And I think people will see that when they come to see the show. It, they're amazing. I think a lot of people classify uh, Latin A work through this lens of magical realism. The way I experience my life and the way I view a lot of theater, I would like to like reclassify that as uh, a survivalist reality. So sometimes we have to elevate our reality in order to deal with the things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. In this particular instance, this story is about abuse and freeing ourselves from that. And we needed to elevate the story as high as it could go in order to feel uh, the true darkness of what it would be to overcome that struggle. So yes, people can describe it as magical realism, but survivalist reality is what I'm in for. And sometimes that takes a little bit more imagination and a little bit more creativity, which then leads people to think, oh, I need to call it this other thing. But I'd like to redefine that a little bit for us and for this, for the genre in general. I am unapologetically imaginative. I am obsessed with theatricality. I love people to come to the theater and have an experience. So what I would say to anybody who wants to come to the play, and it's not really a question, but it's come experience it. Come to the theater and breathe in with us and experience this story. And I hope that you leave a little bit more healed than when you came.